Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is June 27, 2024. Huh. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, it's a little bit early in the day. The daily prom's not out yet. Um, but I am going on a three hour run today uh, as, as part of my long run for marathon training. So, uh, so I'm trying to get this before that, the bonus question before that, and just try to get one in that I haven't done yet. But, uh, yeah, all right, let's take a look at today's farm without further ado, and maybe we'll talk about the other, uh, other things afterwards. <laughs> today's farm is 1868, product of two one length encoded arrays. One length encoded arrays, da -da 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 -da, consecutive repeated to be two decoded arrays. So, one, do, do, do. Uh, okay, nums is this, and then, okay, we, we have three ones and five twos, okay. Oh, yeah, that's what they said. The product is expand to the four arrays, create an array, product nums, and set product nums. Do, do, do. Okay. I see, I see. That's not, that shouldn't be that bad. I mean, it's just basically, uh, yeah. I mean, I think the two, oh, okay. So I was going to say that there are two major ways of doing it. One is that you could expand it out and then um, do the multiplication and then encode it again. That seems pretty straightforward. However, uh, n is 10 to the 5th, which is fine, but frequency is 10 to the 4th. That means that if you expand it out um, for each one, it can go up to 10 to the 9, right? Which is way too... Um, which is way too big, right? So you have to do it live. And the way to do it live is just think of it as a queue where you just pop up one character at a time and I think that should be okay. I think the, the thing that I want to think about, uh, so the two things that you have to do as well, right? One is that, um, as I said, well, one thing is th that I always said, which is that you have to decode the, the thing live one character at a time. Um, or not even one, sorry, not even one character at a time, because one character at a time, it will be 10 to the 9, right? So you, it's not, not only can you, sorry, uh, hmm, let me say it more precisely. So, um, so what you cannot do <laughs> is take one, one, one away, decode it, take the second away, decode it, and then do the multiplication and then re-encode it. That's too slow. But you cannot also do it one at a time, because if you do it one at a time, um, even though you save on space, you still take that much time to run it, right? So it's still going to be 10 to the 5, uh, 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 4th, which is too slow. So you have to do it in chunks, right? Um, and that's really the, the idea uh, that you have to do it. And, and you have to also be a little bit careful with... Um, you have to be careful with encoding it back, right? Because you can't just encode it one at a time. I'm trying uh, the the pause that I have had was just trying to think about what is the um, what is the worst case complexity here if you just do it a chunk at a time, right? A chunk being um, you know two at a time if if they have to um, if because you can think about it as a defense, right? And you just do it at a time. And then you have defense at different places. And how many defense can you have? And I, I would say that the number of defense is just off. Actually, is that true? No, that's not true. Sure. Yeah. I think the number of defense you can have It should be O of N, actually. Yeah, yeah. The number of events you can have is O of N, um, the, and the reason, the, which is 10 to the fifth, right? Um, and the reason that you can think about that is because then now, you, you, the way that I try to find this proof is by visualizing it. And by visualizing it, I can think of it as line segments, right? And you have line segments that has a beginning and an end. Right, so you can think about this. For example, one three or three ones is just a span from zero to three, 
And then now one two just means four to five or something like this, right? Maybe it's off by one, depending on how you phrase it. But you know, so you can think about each um, chunk as a line segment, right? And as a line segment has two points, the beginning and the end. And now you have two um, two sets of line segments, each with uh, of length 10 to the 5th, up to 10 to the 5th. They don't have to be the same length, but up to 10 to the 5th. And each of these has two endpoints. So in the worst case scenario, um, you have two arrays of 10 to the 5th, each with two endpoints. And so that's 4 times 10 to the 5th number of distinct um like your your result can have up to ten to the fourth, oh sorry, four times ten to the fifth number of distinct endpoints and events, and therefore number of different chunks. Okay, so now that we get got that out of the way, just to make sure that we can do it, um, we should be able to just do it a chunk at a time, right? Yeah, um, and the way that I want, and you can actually do. I mean, the way to do it is just how you think to do it, which is the two two fingers algorithm. Just put one finger on encoded one, one finger on encoded two, and just walk it, right? Um, I think it's not that bad, but, um, but yeah. And and we'll have, and yeah. And we'll have the answers you go to do the do, right? So then now, whew, I mean, I'm just going put them into queues just so that I don't have to handle the indexing. It's something that I do a lot, but in theory, this adds, um, I mean, in theory and in practice, it, it adds O of N space to it, but it, it's, you know, it, it, it's a little bit overhead. For competitive, it usually doesn't matter. For interviews, it probably doesn't look so great, so you probably want to talk about it. And if you are practicing with interviews, maybe just practice using your loops. It's fine, right? So then now, while well, link, link of greater than zero and link of Q2 is greater than zero. And this should be, you know, um, th th this should always be true together. If not, then something has gone terribly wrong. But uh, yeah, and then now we pop left. Uh, what is it? Uh, which one first? Value frequency, right? Right, and then basically now uh, the new value is going to be v one dot v two, right? So new value is equal to this, and um, and new frequency is going to be equal to min of f one f two, right? Um, and then F1, we want to subtract new F, F2, do, 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 right? And then here, um, if length of, basically we're just compressing it. That's why I want to write it this way. Uh, we look at, so if it has more than one element, and we treat this as a stack. So maybe I should have called it a stack, but it's fine. Uh, the value, the first item is going to be the value, right? Yeah. Uh, is you go to n v, then now n f we add it to the top of the stack. Um, and maybe I wrote this in a weird way, but okay, fine. Right, so we pop it. Right, so top of the stack value, top of the stack frequency is equal to this. Um, so then yeah, t v we add it to. Oh, oops. No, 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 we don't change the value. Whoops. So yeah, the, uh, we know that the value is 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 the same, so it's fine. Uh, and then now we add. Um, oh, and then that's it. Uh, new value, new do 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 in a tuple. I guess technically it's in a way, but it's fine. Uh, and that's that's the to get it in the answer and then now you have to handle these things again right so th that's why we have this um, it's so that if f1 is greater than zero um, then q1 dot append left um, the previous right right so we won f1 right if f2 is greater than 0, q, and of course, only one of these can be true. Um, just from this, right? So, yeah. Uh, I'm pointing it out as a loop invariant. And at the end, we just return answer. I think we should be good. Uh, 
if I'm wrong, uh, maybe I, there's not six ones. Mm. So I subtract these, so, so this is updated, this is updated. Um, oh, why is this, that's just a typo, okay. Okay. Uh, in theory, if we want to be careful, and probably for an individual, you do want to be careful, you want to generate a big list to test. I, on the other hand, am too lazy, so I'm just going to submit, because they, they, in, they, they, there's already a test on the system, and they're doing it for me, so there you go. Uh, it's a little bit on the slow side, just because of using DAX, but, you know, it's, this is so clean, right, relatively. Um, yeah. That's all I have with this one. Uh, this is going to be linear space because of this, but this is linear space anyway. So, yeah, or I'll put sensitive if you want to be more precise. Uh, everything is all of one here, right? So, yeah, so pretty straightforward linear time, linear space problem. That's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.